Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a simple brick material in Cinema 4D and V-Ray. For this video I will use uh, the integrated texture in Cinema 4D for create a simple brick. So, let's begin. First of all, create V-Ray Bridge, V-Ray Advanced Material and name it Okay, it's an error on my preview, and name it Brick. Bricks. Okay. In the diffuse layer texture here, I will apply the texture of Cinema 4D surfaces brick. As you can see, I have now my brick my simple brick selected. If you enter in this texture controls you can uh, play with the settings to increase the scale, the brick width, the brick height and so much more. Let's try to have a simple brick. I wanna change something here so I will create an alternative color every zero week bricks or maybe we can try to apply a simple so I'm going to pick the same color here and let's try to As you can see, I can change the, the colors of this, the, the columns and the, the rows of my texture, but for now I want to apply only one color, so I'm going to set it up to zero. And my basic shader is good, maybe we can try to reduce a little bit the color to increase the random sh randomly of this shader as you can see here so after doing this I'm going to gaps maybe I want to increase a little bit the contrast of my gaps so I increase the darker the darkness of my gaps and I want to reset my to have a rectangular pattern. I reset this value to the default settings. Okay, here we go. This is our basic shader. After doing this, I'm going to apply this to my shadow ball. And maybe we can play with these settings have a little bit the UV is good so go to UV mapping and maybe try try to to see better results in texture to increase the references with tiles here okay now in the dirt section you can apply a dirt layer to brick or gaps only as you can see here and they show you or you can use a texture like noise or something else to increase the differences on, on the materials to create a dirt map or something else I don't enable it for now and after doing this I'm going to see what happened in my render let's try with a quick one and see what happened okay 
my diffuse layer works good and I, re I think it's uh, time to increase the realism of this shader with some bumps and reflection so for doing this I will go to my bricks copy this layer go to bump paste the layer here and in this setting enable displacement mode I think we must reduce this height variation to zero and it's good and this to zero okay uh, as you can see here you, you if you go to zero on these values here you can have a simple bump shader but I don't want it because it's too simple so I'm going to increase my, increase my slope intensity to 25% to have a little bit of contrast and a variation of 25% maybe it's good so after doing this I'm going to see what happened in my render after enable it obviously and see what happened in my render Okay, the render is finished and as you can see, we like uh, if you compare with the previous one, we added some gaps and some um, bumpy texture to it and this is cool um, Maybe we can try to add uh, a little bit of um, reflection to this material um, the specular type of uh, um, bricks is very uh, opaque so is the reflection glossiness is very low so maybe we can try to set it to 0 0.6 and reduce the specular color of about uh, 50% maybe is good and let's see what happened in my render okay the render is finished and as you can see comparing with the previous one is not more flattened it's a more realistic material and uh, with some uh, very blurry reflection here and in here is not more flat is very interesting material with a few simple settings um, if you like this you can play with uh, the settings like adding a layer here and maybe we can add uh, uh, sorry a shader of noise here set it up in multiply mode to increase some nice variation on on the bricks maybe we can try to play with this type of noise maybe turbulence is good i think we must reduce the scale to 50 percent to see a better results go up to my layer shader and let's try to play with this to create a nice but not heavy noise to this texture layer maybe we can copy this shader maybe we can apply it to to my specular layer texture so I want to copy this paste it here set it my color to something like black and white map yeah good as you can see I have more details here maybe we can 
increase the noise here to create a little bit of contrast on my specular shader on my specular layer sorry and see what happened in my render now okay if you compare with the previous render we have some uh, more variation on this shader and that's bring it uh, uh, out brings out the, the the entire realism of these uh, materials I really like this maybe we can try to add a final bump layer to this like image shader noise 50% turbulence to increase a little bit of bumpy noise to my material and set it up to multiply yeah good let's see what happens now okay good as you can see in uh, this final render, uh, you can note uh, a little bit of um, roughness on the surface of every bricks. That's because the noise bump uh, increased the realism of this type of uh, shader a lot. And I think uh, for this quick tutorial is everything. Uh, I really like this simple brick. Uh, made only with texture included in uh, Cinema 4D and I hope you enjoy follow me please on Instagram and here on YouTube Bye. See you at the next video